Quantum computing may be one step closer to reality after futuristic computers reach 99% accuracy. That in a report at Study Finds, where we invite you to like and subscribe for the latest info. Okay, get ready for your crash course in quantum physics. I'm also putting the link to the article in the description below because there's lots of big words in it. In a nutshell, quantum computers find better and quicker ways to solve problems. Scientists believe quantum technology could solve extremely complex problems in seconds, while traditional supercomputers you see today could need months or even years to crack certain codes. Quantum computers harness the properties of quantum physics to store data and perform their functions. While traditional computers use bits to encode information, quantum technology uses qubits. The main difference between these two are that the bits process information in a binary fashion, meaning something is either a zero or a one, or a yes or no answer. They represent this two-choice system through the absence or presence of an electrical signal in the computer. Qubits, on the other hand, use quantum objects which act as information processors, and this makes them able to handle way more computations than traditional processors. Researchers from the United States, Japan, Egypt, and Australia are building what they call a universal quantum computer that is capable of performing more than one application. The team achieved a one qubit operation fidelity of 99.95%, meaning a qubit's ability to successfully pass a test. In fact, three separate teams were all able to create qubit systems that cracked the 99% accuracy threshold. The reason that is important, say researchers, is that when errors are so rare, it becomes possible to detect them and correct them when they happen. With this breakthrough, study authors say semiconductor qubits in silicone could soon become the platform of choice as scientists build the next wave of reliable quantum computers. I will never win another game of solitaire with that thing, will I? For way more big words and explanations, follow the link in the description, where you can also find more detail on this and other studies at studyfinds.com.